present the program I know, I shared, I can do it, that was invented by Bertie Four. Hello everyone, welcome. We have two winners here, on my left is Kanchana and on my right is Seka. You can see they have medals uh, around their necks. Um, Kanchana is a winner in the writing contest, also in the speaking contest, and uh, Seka won two medals in the speaking contest. Um, I would like to know, do you have any secrets or any tips how you can become a winner in the writing contest? Thank you very much for your question. Uh, my name is Haidan Kanchana and I am also the winner. I got a gold medal for the English Writing Contest. And for the tips that can make me to become the winner in this program is that, um, first of all, I practice writing every day. Even though it is not a good um, uh, sentence, I mean that I try to, to write first um, with a sentence. Um, after that, I try to write with a paragraph, first paragraph or second paragraph, whatever. And after that, I try to write with an essay. And besides that, I can also try to reread, rewrite, and retext all of those sentences, all of those paragraphs every day. And moreover, I also um, look at the program in on the internet and and ask for the teachers for help. So if I understood you correctly, first you practice a lot, you get information from the internet, and I think that's maybe a, a very important thing, that you rewrite, that you don't just write something and you think it's finished, and you read it again and you try to improve it, right? Okay, I think that's a, that's a very good thing. Okay, then we come to Seka. I can ask you nearly the same question, but regarding speaking, are there any tips or tricks that you can give to uh, the other students how to improve their speaking? Thank you. Uh, my name is Masika, and I am a winner in the speaking contest twice. And my tips and tricks in winning, winning the speaking contest is you have to, first you have to know your weakness and you have to have confidence. You have to know your weakness, what is your weakness in speaking. And it also applies to other um, subjects as well, not just speaking. You have to know that what do you lack in, do you lack in body language, do you lack in, in um, fluent, fluency, or what other area are you lacking in. And after you know what your weakness is, you try to improve it. And then obviously when the time to go on stage, you have to be confident in your speaking. You practice it. So now you just have to believe in yourself, have confidence. Yes, mm -hmm. that's okay. my tip. Thank you. So um, if I understood you correctly, it's important to be honest to yourself. Yeah. Would you tell the audience what your weakness was that you worked on? My weakness was that I have a stage fright. And I, I used to be scared and my leg used to shake. And the first time that I did the speaking contest, I did not do well. But the second time, I learned what it was, and I tried to overcome it as okay. much as I can. Okay. Thank you. How about the students? Do you have some questions? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, um, I'm interested in writing the system. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about your experience and how you feel when getting the building? Thank you very much for your questions. Um, first, first of all, I feel so proud of myself that I could get the golden medal because um, this is the first medal that I got. And when I first come to the stage and write, I was so um, nervous because I'm afraid that I would write it wrong or write so that it was um, so uh, difficult for me. But I think for those students who uh, want to be good at writing, you need just to practice every day as much as possible so that you can be a good writing in the future. Good writers. As you stated in your speaking earlier, you only said that you need to know your weakness, but I am interested on what you do at home. What are the activities that you do at home to practice your speaking? A foreigner speaking, doesn't matter what it is, just normal daily talking or TED talk, making their speech a president. I try to listen to it, catch on to how they say and the way they say it. And I practice it in front of the mirror. Sometimes I talk to myself, but I try. I try my best. Yes, thank you. 
my student in the last term. That means um, she already has undergone the uh, preparation course for the IELTS test. Um, I would like to know from you, are there certain parts of the preparation course that were difficult for you and are there other parts that were especially easy for you? Maybe you can say a little bit about that course. Yes, thank you again for your question. Uh, for this IELTS test, it was not really difficult, but for me it was my first experience ever that I could study this course. The most difficult thing that I learned in this course uh, previous months ago is that um, I I could get only lowest score in um, and for the the thing that I'm good at this course is that um, I could catch up the lesson very well. I could learn from the teacher, from the trainer very well. And for the most important information is that for the student who can get the seven band score, they will receive the um, scholarship from His Excellency Chain to Study Overseas. If you can get that 7.0 seven, uh, 7 score or higher, uh, which country would you like to study in? Such an in interesting question. The country that I want to study, if I got that, the 7 band score, I want to go um, America. Okay, right. thank you. Uh, for the other students who maybe also want to get a scholarship, uh, it might be interesting when the new term starts. I think uh, Sekar can say something about that. Yes, I first I would say what you said was very interesting. Well, T offers so many opportunities for hardworking students and anyone, my friends. If you have anyone, your relative or your friends want to study here at Belty, we have a new term starting on 3rd June 2019. You can enroll right, you can come and register and enroll right now. So uh, we're open every day at any Belty campus next to your home, especially Belty 4 right now. We are here right now. I think you have heard something about the new term in Belty. Maybe if the other students also want to get a scholarship, can you say something about when the new term starts? Yes, I can. But before that, I want to say that your speech was amazing, what you share to us about the IELTS test. And everyone, my friends, if you have any relative, your brother, your sister, or your friends who want to study here at Belty, you can tell them we have a new term starting on 3rd June 2019. You can come and register and enroll right now at any Belty campus next to your home or especially...